the Gracie for Best Actress in a Leading TV Role Comedy or Musical goes to Rachel Bloom. Meet Rebecca. She's the coolest girl. Any uh, else have a short torso and big boobs out there who, if you don't get it hemmed, it's, you're always checking for the bra. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, first of all, I want to thank Ramel, who's been escorting us up these stairs all night. Thank you. Um, I want to thank Donald and Champlin, who uh, we clearly should have had in the writer's room. What a great fucking speech, Jesus. Um, and who I uh, is not only nominated tonight, but also I just saw her bring two nights in a row at Radio City Music Hall, 12,000 people to their feet every time she stepped on stage. Uh, I noticed some award winners tonight um, had their speech on a teleprompter. No one told me that that was an option. <laughs> I'm also the last award, and the wine has been refilling itself, so get ready for some clickbait. No. Um, this is really special. Uh, oh, just to give that clip some context really quickly, that's not a song about a girl singing about a person named Tyler. Um, that song is uh, called The Darkness, um, and it's a song about uh, basically depression. And Tyler is the name that my character gives to depression. Um, and it was a really uh, scary and vulnerable song to write. Um, and I could not have uh, written that song, uh, first of all, with, without my fellow songwriters who are always encouraging me, Jack Dolgen and Adam Schlesinger, who are the definition of male feminists, but more importantly, my amazing co-creator, Aline Brush McKenna, um, uh, who isn't here tonight for literally no good reason. I don't know why she's not. Um, <laughs> I love her though. Um, this is probably the last award I will accept uh, for playing Rebecca Bunch. Oh, it's okay. No, we ended it on our own terms. It's fine, but thank you for that. I appreciate that. I like sympathy. Um, and it seems very fitting to do it here because our show, whether or not we intended it to be as a female show, um, our, the critics who championed us are overwhelmingly female. Our fans are, are overwhelmingly female. I mean. I'm really glad we were a network show because the biggest compliment I can get is that mothers have watched it with their daughters. And that is so fucking cool. I, please, if you ever watch it with your daughter or your mother, please just come up to me. Someone, someone came up to me when I was topless in a spa once and I loved it. Um, I, I got asked tonight on the, on the red carpet, uh, why are women's narratives so important? And I know for a lot of us, Sure, we're women, and that occurs to us, but, but I know for me, and I'm sure for a lot of you, it's not a women's narrative, it's what are narratives that have not been portrayed before? What are stories that have not been told? And a lot of times, those stories are about women, or they're stories that only women can isolate. And that's weird, because we're more than half the population, but it, it still is a rarity, and when we pitched the show about six years ago, Women on, t on TV was, was, was still rarer than not. And I remember Lean saying to me, you know, people are gonna be upset because you're a, an imperfect heroine. In fact, sometimes you're the villain uh, of this show. You are a flawed protagonist. And people did have a problem with that. And there was actually one network we pitched to that shall remain nameless that did want to buy the show. But they said, oh, we've never done a woman's story before. We'll give it a go. <laughs> Little pat on the back, pat on the ass. They didn't do that. It was pre-Me Too, but they didn't do that. Um, thank you so much. I'm making these jokes up on the fly. Thank you so much. Um, again, didn't have a prompter. Thank you. I'm so brave. So brave. <laughs> so, no, you don't. No, 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 no. That's, you don't. It's okay. You don't have to do that. Um, I'm honored to be here. I, I am floored at the women who've been given awards tonight. I'm, I'm floored uh, that, that I'm included in this group of people. Um, I know it's trite to say I'm humbled, but that's literally the only word that comes to mind, so maybe I'm not the best writer after all. Um, I want to thank, once again, my co-creator, Lean Brush McKenna. I want to thank all the women who worked on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. We were a majority women writer's room. We were a, a majority mom writer's room. And the men who were in our writer's room were, are some of the most outspoken feminists I've ever met. I want to thank my husband, who is strong and feminist, but he's not here, so clearly he hates women. Um, 
I want to thank my friend Jeff who came in his place. Uh, Jeff and I have, um, yes, applaud for Jeff. <laughs> Jeff and I have written comedy together for about uh, 15 years, and he is one of the most feminist, <laughs> straight white men I know. Also, he's single. Just want to advocate for him. Um, I want to thank my assistant, uh, soon to be star in her own way, Alana Wolpert, who is here with me tonight. Be kind to your assistants. Be kind to them. They are our future bosses. Do not yell at them. They will shit talk you. I live in fear of Alana. Um, I, and finally, if I forgot you, I know you all want to go home. I want to thank everyone who stayed for my award. Um, I want to thank all of you for inspiring me. And um, I, I am um, I'm a straight white woman who got to go to school for theater. I have privilege. So come up to me and tell me shit I don't know so that I can learn and then I can put it into writing or work with you to put it into writing because that's the only way we create good stories is being exposed to shit we don't know. So thank you, Gracies, for this award. Th thank you for the, um, the Alliance of Women in Media. I know I'm getting that wrong because I had a lot of wine. Um, <laughs> thank you uh, so much. I'm honored to be here. Thank you so much for this.